So I'm here today with this Alva Laser Alpha MK2. And I'll tell you more about it in a minute, but first I wanted to show you something. So I put it all together. This goes together amazingly. The only problem I had was attaching this to this. It had just been really helpful to have a second person to like hold it so I could like try to line the screw holes up. That's not a design flaw. That's just, I mean, that, that's how it's gonna be. I eventually figured it out. I got it stood up and kind of held into place and stuff. The other problem I had was I'm just making sure I have it connected to a light burn inside. And when I connected it, um, it just wanted to infinitely go to home and was making a horrible gah, 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 sound. Uh, I overlooked an instruction in the manual. The manual said you needed to put the tensioner screws on and I just kind of assumed they were already there. I missed that one line. So once I put the screws in and tightened it up, it immediately stopped trying to infinitely home. Works perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this outside. We'll get it set up with some stuff and I'll show it to you. So again, this is the Algo Laser Alpha MK2. It's a diode laser. It's 20 watts. Um, it has an impressive speed of about 20,000 millimeters a minute. So it's great for uh, beginners, hobbyists, and even professionals if you wanted to do like craft fairs and stuff with this. It, it's got a decent speed. <clears throat> I will say the build quality on this thing is amazing. I put together a lot of these open frames and well, you kind of got to wiggle the pieces in. Once they're in, they're in and it's easy to screw together. And this was probably the quickest open frame that I've done by like a half an hour, maybe an hour. Um, I got through it really quick. It was... Let's see, two, four, eight, 12. It's about 15, 16 screws, something like that. And that's pretty much it. And then four set screws that you have to tighten. Um, once you do that, I mean, uh, this thing was great. So one of the really standout features to me is this has a three and a half inch smart screen. Uh, it runs Algo's little operating system. You can do engraving stuff from it. You can put files on an SD card, USB, whatever, and do it from right there. You can do Wi-Fi. you can use the app. And it's wonderful. I, I fired it up and immediately it, once you just select your language, I selected the language and then it's like, do you want to connect to your network? And I'm like, yes, it immediately saw all the nearby networks within like a few seconds. Um, I went ahead and tapped on one of my guest networks that I had the you know password for on my phone, popped up on my phone, typed it in. My only complaint was the letters on the alpha and numeric screen for entering your Wi-Fi password, little fuzzy. Um, it's also not QWERTY, so that kind of threw me for a loop for a second, but it immediately connected as soon as I put in the password. I put it in, pressed uh, return or enter or whatever was on the screen, and within like a second or two it was on my network. You can update the firmware from the screen in the menu. I checked for a firmware update. There wasn't one. It's got a lot of features. Uh, you can directly control the laser head on it. I moved it around a bunch to make sure I had everything right, <clears throat> and then pressed the home button on it. That's when I found out it was trying to infinitely home. So to get that light burn profile, I just went to the algolaser.com. You go to support. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, you can click support. When you're in support, you scroll down a little and it has downloads. And it has uh, profiles for the Alpha, Delta, and DIY kit. In this instance, I just downloaded the profile for Alpha, imported it right into Lightburn, and bam, there it was. Perfect. Everything set up. It homes to the right place. Nice. So the Alpha MK2, you know, it's incredibly versatile. It's capable of engraving and cutting various materials, just like any other diode laser. Uh, you know, uh, wood, leather, um, some glass it can do, just like other diode lasers. You just got to know what you're doing, right? Uh, it, it has something called, like, advanced spatial coherence technology. It's supposed to ensure a high precision with a spot size of like 0 0.15 by 0 0.12 millimeters, which should allow for pretty intricate and delicate designs. Um, th this thing seems super efficient. It's super convenient. Again, it was the quickest one I've ever put together. So you should be able to like really churn out some batch production for this, like fast and nice. And uh, yeah, um, one pause I do have here is I've got some cameras that you can connect to open frames and the way the frame is designed, it, it might not be the easiest thing to do on this one, but if you had a 3D printer or even if you just laser cut a little like wood shim or something, shouldn't be a problem at all. It's just, it, it's got a nice like visual design and it, it kind of might make it a little difficult. It might make it a little wobbly if you attach a third party camera. It's not really Algo Laser's fault. 
Um, and again, you could make something real easy, even just with the laser, to uh, connect it, and it'll be fine. Um, while I'm talking about the build quality, again, this thing is amazing. Like, I don't know if it's powder coated, but like, it feels wonderful. It's it's got a nice little texture. The paint is very good. I kind of scratched around on it a bunch with other pieces of metal while I was putting it together, and there's no scratches visible. Uh, everything fits together nicely. I didn't have an issue with a single screw. Every other open laser I've put together, there has been issues with screw threads just being wrong or the screws stripping or the head stripping. No, this thing is nice. And the screws, there's only two sizes of screws and it's incredibly apparent what goes to what. There's two long ones that use the big torque wrench that comes with it. Those are for the tensioner and all of the others are for connecting the frame. I love that. All of the connectors are color coded. Um, anywhere where there's multiple connectors, they're very different. So you don't accidentally plug them together. I had one, uh, a few lasers back where all of the connectors were the exact same connector type and the colors were wrong in the manual. So it was like a guessing game. This, that cannot happen. Not only is it color coded, but everything is sized. Like the, the, the actual shape of the connector is unique for each location beautiful. Even the power cables where you're connecting the power to stuff on the frame, it's there's only one way it can go in because you have the two power connectors separated from one power connector on the same housing, so it's only going to plug in one way. I love that. Manufacturers, please do that. Um, you know, it comes with the glasses. It's got a child lock with a key. You get uh, two keys, I believe. It has the emergency stop like they all do. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got all the features you would want. The price on this thing's pretty competitive. Um, I'd argue they could probably get away with charging a little more. The air pump, the assisted air pump for it, is a little bit better. They all pretty much look the same, but this one seems to have a, a nicer um, manual control feature, which I really like. Um, some of them, sometimes they're weird and they're like kind of crummy and, and yeah, but I, I really like this one. So... Yeah, if you're looking to upgrade your engraving game, if you're looking to get into laser engraving or cutting, definitely check out this Algo Laser Alpha MK2. <clears throat> this is now my favorite open frame that does not have a lid. Um, I do have one with a lid that I like better, but there's limitations there because if it has a lid, then you can't put like, you know, weirdly shaped stuff in there, um, which sometimes you might want to do. So just for an open frame that doesn't have a lid, this is hands down my favorite now. I, I've i dreaded putting this one together and I don't know why. I, I think because this has the smallest box I've ever seen because they smartly packed everything in there. So you don't have a box that's the footprint of the laser. You've got a box that's like one quarter of the footprint of the laser in one direction and then about the footprint of the laser in the other direction. And I was just like, oh, this is going to be so many pieces. But it's not. It's like four pieces and a motor rod and then, you know, you attach the air pump and the laser head. That's it. Like... Oh, I should have got this thing out two weeks ago and I've just been dreading it. And I finally got around to it today and I'm like, I could have been playing with this thing. So yeah, let's take a look now at how good it engraved. Overall, I am extremely satisfied with this laser. Again, this is my new favorite open frame. Um, it's definitely getting permanent space in the garage. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I'll have a link to this in the sticky comment like normal and in the description. And let me know if you have one of these. Let me know what you do with it. I will see you in the next video.